In this video, we're talking about CSS3 multiple columns. So I will start by creating my HTML structure. Then inside, I'll use div, div. Okay. Then I will write a random test inside. Let me say hello, Rain. If you have time to write your full test, good. But if you don't have full test at all, you can just use a MS generator, random generator, the words. Okay. Let me say generate. Um, 300 words for me okay let me refresh you can see to have generated the firm 300 words random words okay now let's link our external css because we're writing the code in our uh, css our css code in our external css file okay so to do that let me just link it so if you don't know how to link it you can watch css inside video you understand it better Okay, if you haven't done this now, okay, I've linked my CSS file. I don't think I need much thing. Then coming to our CSS file, since we use div, we have only one element. So we use element selector, which is the name of the element div. So we we'll call it div, uh, div, open a uh, declaration block, then say, type in the property name colon or column either way. Uh, supposed to be yeah column uh column count that's column count okay then inside this column count we give it a parameter let me give it a, it accepts va one value okay let me give it a, let me say i want two columns let's see the effect on the you see it splits the the test into two it looks like a bible something like a bible okay okay let me also split it you can also split it into more up to let me give it a three Let's see what happened. You can see it split the test into three. You can see that you have one, two, three. Okay, any value added, that is the number of splitting it to split the test. How about five? To keep on splitting it into five places, you can see that I split it up to five places. Let me try ten. Ten will be too obvious, but let me just try it. You can see it's too um, jam packed. Let me widen the screen. Can see it's split it into 10 places 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, this is how um, this is how uh, CSS three multiple column works. Okay, so another thing you can do, you can actually add um, what's it called? You can actually add line in between those um, in between those spacing as in between the two columns that have been split. You can add line in between them. Well, first of all, let me remove this 10 and use a reasonable value here. Let me say something like uh, 2. 2 is more preferable. Okay, you can see that. Okay, that is nice. Okay, so let me uh, to put, I just want to add loo here, kind of a, a straight line that we demarcate them to. It was, I will also give it some styling. So I'll give it another property called column. Uh, where is it? Can I see it here? No. Column loo. Column loo style okay you can see it down down select it column rule style okay let me let me start with dash and see what it looks like you can see you can see the the effect but this dash look this dash to look like a circle look like a, a sorry let me use another one let me say something like a dotted if i say dotted now you can see then how about solid how about solid I uh, about solid to go straight, okay, straight line. Then how about uh, insets? Let me see insets. Okay, insets is here. You can see the insert is there, but when you change the color, that's when you see the effect. Then let me leave it at. Uh, let me just give it a final. Let me just use. Let me say double. And I think I don't think I know what it's called double. Yeah, double loom, double, double line. This one look more like a Bible. <laughs> it looks more like a Bible, which is if I add this thing here now. If I add the uh, num, if I add, say, let me add something like uh, one here. Not this place. Let me go up. If I add something like uh, one here, I mean like a var to be like a Bible. Kind of uh, to look like a Bible. You can see one. Let me just add two here say two here like chapter two something like that you can see <laughs> this uh, this it looks like bible but uh, actually this you can also do this kind of thing 
So this is the 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 thing about the uh, the thing that can, you, you can the a line that can demarcate two of them. Okay, let me let me just leave it as solid. I think solid will make more sense. It will be more bold and more visible. Okay, let me add another one. I can add a uh, style into it, kind of color. Let me say to do that. Just say style, not style. Sorry, colon, uh, colon, uh, where is N? Colon hyphen blue. Okay, you can see it here. Not this, yeah, blue color. Okay, let me give it a blue color. You can see the line, you can see the color now. How about red? How about red? You can see it's changed to red. Another thing I can add, I can also add uh, column blue width. I can also add column blue width. Is it to increase the superset here? Yeah? Column, not column, column blue width. Where is it? I think it's down, down. Yes, there is it. Uh, let me give it something like let me say four pixels and see what it looks like. It will enlarge this. It will uh, enlarge the, the width of this line, I think. Then let me make it. Uh, let me say something like uh, 50 pixels. It will be too much. I know it's too much. How about leave it at five? How about uh, 12? You can see that. So there's there's what you can do with uh, this. Um, uh, what is it called? This uh, multiple column. Then, if you increase, let me reduce this to let me say four pixel. And the way the thing is, if you increase the column, it will keep on adding the line. Let me let's try that. Let me remove two and replace three. You can see how about four? You can have about five. You can see it will keep on adding the line automatically once you have put the values to keep on adding it in between them. How about seven? How about eight? Okay, you can see that you keep on adding it How about 10. The rules here, but it will not make sense. Let me widen the screen and see how it looks. You can see the effect. This is what this thing can do. This um, CSS multiple, um, uh, CSS three multiple columns. You can see that. Okay, this is what you can do. Okay, I think this the, uh, I think I have come to the end of this uh, video. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and my follow my facebook page if you have not okay so see you in the next one let's leave it at two the vault let's just leave it at two two makes more sense okay so see you in the next video thank you for watching